This morning we're still on Achla Island and we're just going to do a wee tour of the island. This place is called Dua, but we're not stopping here, we're going to carry on. The mountain in just above Dua is about 688 metres high, so quite substantial. The road towards Keem is really quite steep and quite a drop as well. See all the islands, that's Clare Island out there. This this road is not for the faint hearted. <laughs> it is really, really high. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no walls or anything at the side. Wow, this is terrifying. I wouldn't have come if I had known how terrifying <laughs> this was. How terrified are you? I'm terrified. This is Keem Beach and what a terrifying road, look at that. That up there was our road and it might not look it but that is really, 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 really steep and I'm not looking forward to going back up there. What a beautiful place. I'm nervous about our journey back. Way up there, you can just see a car coming down, which gives perspective on the heights. These boards depict the shark fishing um, activity. Oh, it's, it's awful. Basking sharks in great numbers being slaughtered. It was an old tradition with harpoons and the pictures, I won't go too close, are really graphic. It's not nice for nature lovers. This mountain in front of us, that's called Slave Moor. And that's 670 metres high. This is Duggar on the north of Achill Island. And another gorgeous beach. And no one on it. And that is a fantastic view of Slave Moor with the beach. Really, really beautiful. But time to move Another on. Another gorgeous little beach. One after the other after the other on this island. And they are nearly all blue flag beaches too. Over there there's lots of peat cutting going on. I think I've heard this before. Can you believe that they're still peat cutting in I this cannot, day and age? I cannot have doing it in this day and age. We've decided to take a chance and go up this steep hill and the view is going to be spectacular at the top. It's amazing! Well we made it up the steep road and been rewarded with these fantastic white cliffs. There's some sea stacks there too. And right down the end there, that's where we were earlier, with the high road over the mountain. Look at this beautiful little cottage. Really sweet. The cliffs are also brilliant around here. We've just been for a walk along there, a bit windy, got to be careful. But really spectacular. Well, this is our reward for getting out of the van again and coming down to the shore. So the piece of land right in front of us there, you think it's the mainland, but I actually think it's Achelbeg, which is a wee island. This is Kildavnet Castle, and this is just one, one of many chieftain towers that were built along this coastline. But there's a really sad tale to be had. Tell us a tale, you want to think. Right, okay, there was once a princess called Dymphna. Alright. And Dymphna 
really devoted her life to Christ. Did she? Yes. And but the problem is when her her mum died, her father actually wanted to marry her. Right. She ran away and he followed her all over Ireland and finally caught up with her here in Achill. But seemingly she then ran away again and built a monastery. Um, but he caught her and then he chopped off her head. Right. That's really sad. Before her. Oh, you can actually get inside. <laughs> Well, the tower is higher than that roof, so how did they get up to the next level? They would have been four from that one, as you are now. They must have had ladders to get up. Because it's too narrow for staircases. Yeah, I would say so. I think it's time to leave the Isle of Achel. Yeah, I think we've exhausted it. I think we have exhausted it, but it was a really, really worthwhile place to visit. After a lovely lunch in Kate's Cafe, which is to be recommended, we are just leaving Achel Island right now, across the bridge, back to the mainland. Looking across the water there, that is the Isle of Achel that we've left. All the land and the hills over there on our right, that's part of Ballycroy National Park. This is a lovely centre to come in and visit. And it tells you all about the blanket bog of which this area is famous for. Out the back of the visitor centre, there is a really nice boardwalk. Here we are at the KG Fields. It is the most extensive Neolithic site in the world. Wow, that is amazing. Right over there in the distance, we're going to head there. T tell us what's going on here, please, your whole thing. Well, here we are at Downpatrick Head. It is blowing a gale um, and really dangerous because there's hundreds of feet high cliffs. Sheer. Sheer cliffs, so we've just got to be really careful. But if we go around that way, might get a good view of the sea stack. Okay. Wow. That's one hell of a sea stack. The wind is blowing a gale, so I don't know if I'll be heard on the video, but it's really impressive. What's going on? See down there, smashing off the cliffs. There's a cave right there, boring its way through the rock. And over there you can actually see a pinhole of where it's managing to get through. So that end bit there will eventually be a sea stack like the other one. This is amazing. This is right on the top of the plateau and yet there's this giant hole and underneath you can just see the sea going right through. So what they've done to protect people, it's really clever. They've built these railings all the way around to stop people falling in but actually giving you a really good view down into the cave. big enough to drive double-decker buses into it. 